put up that sign, but the stupid walls are still loafing all the time. Okay, let's see. Oh, man. My map is looking a bit undernourished. I need to throw Bob's concession stand up here somewheres. Awesome. Intriguing. No, 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 not so intriguing. Whoa. Uh, nah. Nope. No way. Yep. The concession stand is still there. Keep on sticking it out, Sticky. Time to check the email. The email, the email, the email. Oh no! The lappy is missing! Hi, folks. My name is Strongbad. You may remember me as pretty much the coolest guy or sandwich ever, 98. Or the fellow what stole your girlfriend. Welcome to the required by video game law tutorial portion of my awesome game. It seems as though someone has stolen my state-of-the-art laptop computer. And you, yes you, need to help me find out who. Okay, let's take a look around my computer room. Point at the various items of interest in my computer room with the Wii Remote and press the A button. I'll check them out as you do. Move your cursor over various items of interest in the room and click the left mouse button. I'll check them out as you do. Oh man, could that be a clue in the area where my laptop computer used to be? I wish I could somehow see it bigger. Yeah, those are my old computer games. They don't even work on the lappy, but I keep them around so people know how cool I am for keeping them around. I'm not leaving here until I get a clue about who stole the lappy. I totally stole this from my nerdy little brother Strongsad. Man, that guy is such a whiny baby. He's probably crying over losing it right now. Okay, this is an item that I'm going to keep. That means that it's going into my inventory, or collection of surprisingly useful, useless crap. To see the stuff in my inventory, just point at the inventory icon in the upper left of the screen and press the A button. To see the stuff in my inventory, just click on the inventory icon in the upper left of the screen. It's the one that's blinking. But don't think about using it until I'm done talking. What were you, raised in a click on stuff while cool people are still talking barn? Anyway, when the inventory's open, select the magnifying glass icon. Your cursor, formerly a dot, will become the magnifying glass. Then just point at things you want to use the magnifying glass on and press the A button. It's like super easy, man. Then just point and click on things you want to use the magnifying glass on. It's like super easy, man. Aha! I'd recognize that pudgy grape jelly stained fingerprint anywhere. It belongs to Dun Dun Dun! My little brother Strong Sad! Let's go across the hall into his room and unethically interrogate him. That whiny sack of gray dump over there is Strong Sad. If you want me to talk to him, point at him with the Wii Remote and press the A button. Clicking on him means you want me to talk to him. You'll see a bunch of stuff appear over my head. They represent topics I can talk about. Let's try talking to him about his own miserable self first. Here's your nerd glass. Now where's my lappy? Well, you sure need it, pal. But that's no reason to steal someone else's expensive high-tech electronic styles. I need to get the bobs. To access this map at any time during the game, point at the map icon in the top left part of the screen with your Wii Remote and mash the A button. You can access this map at any time by clicking on the map icon in the top left part of the screen. This is my map. It's what I used to get from point A to place B. Yes, okay. My map is looking a little undernourished. I need to throw Bob's concession stand up here somewheres. As I discover wondrous new places, I will add them to my map. To travel to another location, point at it with the Wii Remote and mash A. Give it a try. Simply point to a location and click it to travel there. Give it a try. Hey, Bubs, I heard my stupid brother was down here. Bubs, what are you doing? That part comes at the end of the tutorial. You're supposed to be sad in this part. Why do I even bother with rehearsals? No, Bubs, wait. I need the lappy. In this case, go ahead and give old Bluehead a compliment to cheer him up. All right, I got my lappy back. So there you go, folks. That should be everything you need to know to play this best game ever. Point at the picture of Strong Sad's ugly face in the bubble above my head and press the A button. Click on the picture of Strong Sad's ugly face in the bubble above my head. Hey, little brother. Sometimes when talking to people, I can choose between saying something nice or saying something I would say. Choose the angel me to say something nice or the devil me to be more of a jerk. You are ugly and you smell like old feet. Corn chips and medicated creams. Nice hat. It distracts people from your grotesquely bulbous midsection. I am sure that it is. Okay, enough chit chat. 
Let's shake him down about my stolen laptop. Where is my lappy, you two-bit thief? If you want your magnifying glass back, you will. To give my brother back his magnifying glass, just get it from your inventory and use it on him. Just like you did with the fingerprint in my computer room. Cheer up, Bubs. At least you're not on fire. Just stick to the script. Wow, Bubs, you sure have gotten fat. Hey, Bubs, have you seen my lappy around here? Did my dumpy little brother bring my laptop computer to you? Lucky you did, or both you and Strong Sad would be in for a world of hurtings from me, the awesome one, the Strong Bad. Uh, no. That won't do anything interesting. That's a really good idea. But it's wrong. If I want this guy to cooperate, I'd better change his mood. There are usually a variety of ways to change people's moods. You'll figure this out as you go. Generally, I find kissing up or breaking their stuff usually gets the desired response. Now get out there and have some fun at the expense of others. And don't make me look bad. Or good. Don't make me look good. I got a bad reputation to uphold. I'm drawing with my map now, adding to the world now, bending space and time now. Awesome! Now let's see, the vanishing point should be... There! Genius! Notice the artist's attention to sweet deals and awesome styles. Voila! Check this out! Ah, oh, I sometimes get tired of that. Yeah, I'm definitely tired of that. Ah, the old family portrait studio. I remember coming here when I was a young strong bad with braces and corrective footwear. And by that, I am referring to strong mad and strong sad. Okay, let's do this! Time for some modeling styles. I'm ready for my close-up. Yeah, I want my picture taken. Hang on, I'm gonna need some help. The paper, take a note. Well, I guess I better get back to whatever it was I was doing before. Catch you on the flip side, the cheat. That's enough modeling for today. Looking good. I'm charming. Oh. <laughs> Do you have the time? Soak it in, ladies. Styles upon styles. Who? Me? Let's do lunch. Whatever, baby. I'm on a collision course with sultriness. Oh? Ah? Uh, check me out. Is this me or what? Why, yes. I have done some modeling before. Oh, hello. I'm a no-armed whitey. I wrote the book on having a stupid butt. It's called Tennis Practice for Jeffrey. I'm ready for the big heist. Those smoky red laser beams don't stand a chance when I'm in this getup. Ooh, I'm the king of town. Fat, fat. That's the sound of me breathing. And the truck door comes and they... No! <laughs> oh, I gotta take better care of my pipes. I'll see you in court. Or on Wall Street. Or something. Oh, hello, Femi Fatale. Won't you accompany me to my car? That turns into a boat? That turns into a rocket? That turns into a fold-out couch? I'll tie you to the dastardly train tracks! And wear a cape for no good reason! Today we're making the cheat à l'orange. It's considered a delicacy in East Strongbadia. Oh, mademoiselle. Oh, cosmopolitan. Oh, elle. Oh, vogue. Oh, how you say, red book? This is the most rarest, awesomest shirt ever. I have got to get a picture of me in this to make all my friends jailhouse. Man, they only wish they had this hotness. That goes downstairs. We won't be going down there in this tutorial. Hey, stay focused, man. Hmm, how can I see that purple smudge bigger? Seriously, those are not important right now. No, don't give it to him yet. We gotta interrogate him first. Never mind. Huh? Whoa? Ah? Yipes! Are you asking for a challenge? Shape up, men. We're headed out at, oh, 900 hours, give or take. Well, that's right, announcer man. The scissor weight belt is back where it belongs. And jack him up, kid. You're going down, kid. Look at all these real muscles. Thanks, Ababber 2000. For best results, never shower again. What? Yeah, it's a girl's wig. So what? I got book smarts. I don't need look smarts. Ah, my trusty steed. Stooley, I'd ride you into email battle any day. I can't unplug the lappy. It takes five to seven business days to fully charge the battery. Lappy don't charge on weekends. Deleted. Deleted. El delito grande. Survey says. 
Deleted! Undeleted! Deleted! No more! Man, that painting is creepy! Okay, let's do this thing! Ooh, a rare one! Quit it! New game! New game! <laughs> Save load! Save load! Settings? Quit it, moron! Scenes from the next episode! Next time on SBCG4AP! Yeah! Factor this! Now calm down, people! Every great film has to make some creative editing decisions in order to make me look better. Uh-oh, this is starting to turn into an unruly mob. And not the good kind like I started Strong Sad's poetry readings. For real this time. Looks like I'm gonna have to jump! Why, hello, Gorgias! Rock and roll, baby! The power of rock compels you! Are you ready to new game? Saving the load, saving the load. Don't quit strong bad gaming. Now look what you did, Doompa Loompa. The Trogdor machine is ruined. Look, this is no time to be pointing fat doughy fingers. This is the time for you to figure out how you're gonna fix it. Serviced? Where am I supposed to get fan service around here? That may be the coolest Thing that has ever happened. Oh, I gotta see this. Rhino. Rhino feeder. Ah! I just had the most pixelated dream. And you were there. And you were there. And... Uh-oh. You were there. Man, smells like burning wet the cheat all down in here. Almost got it. Well, that was easy and extremely painful. I better go trick somebody into carrying this machine back into the basement for me. Good thing the Vidalectric's phone number is the same as the secret code to get a zillion men in Awesome Cross. Yeah, my Trogdor arcade machine just broke all of a sudden for no reason at all after I didn't do anything to it. And now it's running around all over the place beating people up and scaring everyone. Which is actually pretty cool, except now I can't play it. One, two... Yeah, but look man, I know this isn't voicemail. How do I fix my Trogdor machine? I already... Three... That's supposed to be a hint? Give me another hint. Uh, I mean, three... Four... Four... Two plus two... Quattro... Double double deuce! Finally! Uh, the number you have reached is not in service. Please hang up and try again. I can't be wasting time like this. I've got dozens of cooler ways to waste time. Hey, what happened to Trogdor? I expected to see him pummeling and or burninating you by now. Did you see where Trogdor went? Stop him? No, no, it's pronounced cheer him on. So you finally found a way to put that dead plant out of my misery, huh? Charlemagne was a he? What's this logic board you're babbling about? We never established who broke what. Why would I want to get him back in the game? Do you have any idea how long I've wanted to have my own dragon? Yeah, I know. That sounds awesome! All right, I'll fix the machine! How am I supposed to get one of those logic board things? That's right! Man, it's hard to keep up with all the stuff I steal. I should start keeping a spreadsheet. Or a bedsheet. A Fred sheet? Wait here, Dumpy Kong Jr. I've got a reanimated arcade machine to take care of. Shut up! Shut up nine times! What? You said all I have to do is replace some kind of logic board and everything would be fine. I can't stand around talking to you. I've got to go vanquish the dragon. Great. And now, the house is haunted. One, you don't have a van. Two, I wish I could get rid of you that easily. And three, these aren't even the groundskeeper wearing a sheet covered in phosphorescent paint kind of ghosts anyway. They're from Spirits of 76. That bicentennial-themed game where you're a big spooky pixel running around the black screen, picking up other spooky pixels. Ow! Why don't you try doing that to my face, stupid ghost? No, they didn't. Besides, it was too dark to tell. If I could just find that light musket peripheral that came with the game, then we'd see who's knocking whom out of whom's house. I need to find that light musket. Shut up! This gun's enough to take out all those stupid ghosts. Don't make me come in there. Ah, stupid redcoats. Need a taste of the shot heard round their boon tackles. How am I supposed to see anything in here? The cheat! Did you unleash vengeful spirits into the house again? Forever, huh? We'll see what old Musky here has to say about that. Why do you video game types always talk in lame clues? 
Why don't you just tell me what you're looking for? It's an old-timey key. Just look at that resolution. It looks like a box with a line in it. Maybe a lantern? Wow, it's an enormous feather. I'm learning so much about history right now. Okay, I've got no idea what this is. But I bet I'm gonna need it. Hey, I wanna ask you a question. The cheat, you know you gotta ask permission before you can play with or be around the fun machine. Especially when it's to put crap like this in there. Jell Arshi's Pro Fruit Border. Say it with me, the cheat. Licensed video games are never good. That's the promo shovelware I got for sending in the proofs of purchase from all that gelatin I won in the race to the end of the race. Those things are never any good. Don't look so down, the cheat. I'll let you watch me play lots of games later. Don't be such a baby, the cheat. They're just 8 bit ghosts. Spirits of 76? Whoa, this is that haunted historical adventure game that came with that awesome light musket peripheral. Jell Arshi's Pro Fruit Border? The cheat must have changed the cartridge without turning the machine off first. Even though it clearly says on the box that doing so can result in loss of data and or the physical manifestation of spectral entities. Well, might as well see if this game is worth the zero dollars I paid for it. Time to shred some serious air with my totally gelatinous bromide, Jelarshi. I know I don't want to look inside there, but I just can't stop myself. What? Where'd the painting go? Ha! Ah! Woo! Interactivity! Gotta be all kinds of cool stuff in here. Cool and moist. Best not think about that. Aha! Homestar's cell phone! I probably shouldn't have dialed the Ukrainian weather update line and left it on all these months. I hope Homestar's got some crazy rollover minutes. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the tarantula black metal detector and shovel attachment. Oof! Uh, Homestar, did you swallow your lucky quarter? Can't get anywhere near that thing. Maybe Dumplo was right for once. I better cut that out. It's starting to knock the husk out of my naturally husky head. Homestar, let me borrow your cell phone. Calm down, Homestar. It's just a rampaging Trogdor arcade machine. So why don't you go over and play it? What was all that yibber-yabber about a lucky quarter? All right, all right. I'll help you find your quarter. I'll help you find that quarter. You swallowed it. Yeah, yeah, you're a pinball wizard. But why are you trespassing in Strong Badia? I'm telling you, Homestar, you swallowed it. Where'd you have it last? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Uh, what? Yeah, I just saw it next to that Trogdor machine. I swear I saw it next to the Trogdor machine. Today's your lucky day, Homestar. You get to help me fix the Trogdor machine. Just stand in front and try to play it while I open up the back. Yep, you're a regular stand and stand. Now let's go. Just go play the Trogdor machine already. It doesn't even take quarters. Can I talk to an operator? Uno. I think I actually like Marzi Kong better this way. Well, if it isn't the Algebros, the entertaining fireball chucking stars of Math Kickers. What's the total, Brodels? Yeah, I pretty much gotta kill a dragon to get all you guys back where you belong. Wanna come with? Man, it's worth it just to shut those guys' text boxes up. That sounded like it was coming from Strong Badia. Trogdor? No! Bad Trogdor! Heal! My poor kingdom! You were never supposed to burninate my countryside! I thought we were BFFs! That's burninating friends forever. I wasn't crying. Wait, wait, Homestar? Where are you? Well, get out! I got enough to worry about without you getting all up in my hood like some kind of pop-up spam. Oh, first the burnination of Strong Badia, now I've got home spam. Trogdor, you mess with the wrong player character this time. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I have no other choice. I must kill Trogdor! Uh... Anybody know how to kill a dragon? What was that all about? No fair! How am I supposed to get up there without platforms and girders? Aw, nice try, poops, but fix it. Whatever. I guess there's just no way we're getting up there until we get rid of Marzipane. Now get back in my inventory before I have to pay you overtime. Is that... The limousine space machine? What happened to you guys? Is the space machine a rockin'? No way I'm getting that bus out of there without professional help. Fly, my hair metal rockers! Be free! Aw, oh, come on! 
It's a space carriage. That's the best kind of carriage. Pyrotechnics! Uh, what type of babelians you guys looking for, anyway? Why aren't you behind the stand, bubs? I got lots of bootleg VHS movies I want to trade in. So why is Marzipong here? Protesting the construction? How's the construction going, bubs? Quit fooling around and come down here. Are you gonna let that woman tell you what to do? You're at least twice as thick as marzipan, bubs. Just get down here. You gotta help me fix that trogdor machine, bubs. I think Strongsad broke the logic board or something. That's right, Strongsad did that. Can you fix it for me? I mean, him? Get down here and help me with this logic board. Homestar! I thought once you fixed that thing, I'd be rid of him for good. At least Trogdor spared the stick. I don't know what we'd do without you, my pointy little pal. Dangek car-esque. Full autopilot. Razor-tipped saw blade hubcaps. Ejector hatch. And a top speed of zero miles per hour. Model shown with no equipment. Dangek car-esque. Full autopilot. Razor-tipped saw blade hubcaps. And... snakes? I don't remember adding snakes. Why didn't I remember to add snakes? Snakes! At last, an inventory item I can believe in. Note to self, best place for keeping a tangle of writhing snakes? Not my pants. Nothing like a derelict tire to bring down property values. Poor tire! Actually, a burnt tire just might increase Strongbadia's property values. The mighty flag of Strongbadia. A beacon of hope to all who love fences and dirt. And probably lots of chocolate. How could Trogdor burninate my flag? He and that snake holding a big knife are practically cousins. Strongbadia. Population. Tire. Strongbadia. Population. Tragedy. As long as I'm patching up the fabric of reality, I might as well defy it for a minute in the old pan-dimensional photo booth. You can usually find Sonor card gauge reading to the pigeons behind here. But now there's just all these burnt chicken bones. I guess Trogdor must have scared them. Oh. Uh, okay. How about how far is a safe distance? Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary! Man, those old ghost stories never work. How does it do that? No way, man. Don't know what could be staring back at me. I used to like playing Guess Who's Hiding Outside the Shower with the Knife with Strong Sad until that time he panicked and ran around the house all natural. Some things were not meant to be seen. Those cabinets are empty. We used the last of the toilet paper dressing Strong Mad up as Square Hotep, the vengeful mummy. If I gaze too long into the abyss, the abyss gazes back at me and asks to be sanitized. This is where Strong Sad dreams of impossible things. Like having friends. Wait, I thought I set this pile on fire a few months ago. Talk about spontaneous regeneration. Strong Sad knows better than to leave his books out where I can edit them. I better keep these discs locked up in case any more video games come to life. I gotta replace this thing with a to-do list. One, save world from dragon. Two, make to-do list. Three, buy socks. I gotta choke down the rest of that box of cheat commandos though sometime. Just 23 more box tops and I can get the free Junkyard Submarine playset. Couch, I think you should be in your own video game. Couch Quest, the search for my butt. Man, how come Strong Mad can't have Chinese stars and girly magazines hidden in here like all good older brothers? <laughs> Heavy. Someday I'm gonna learn not to give the cheat a ride in the dryer on tacos and gravy night. Empty. Fridge, I think you should be in your own video game. Fridge Quest, the search for serving a purpose. From now on, the only kind of spirit I want to see in this house is school spirit. Okay, that's enough of that. My CGNU class reunion is in two weeks. I better get working on that novel. And marriage. And hair implants. And build that particle accelerator. Strong Sad needs to make up his mind about these posters. I've had the same booger stuck to my wall since I was seven. Nah, the lappy's battery lasts about 45 seconds these days. Those EGA graphics don't come cheap, man. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you a very special light switch rave. And the truck door comes in the night. Even without an on button, speakers, or any place to insert recorded media, 
This seven track still has the best sound. Just listen to that thing resonate. I'm thinking of revising my no loafing policy. Maybe allow loafing during designated hours. Or with the express written consent of Major League Baseball, our last best defense against Burnination. Don't tell Stooley I said this, but he's getting a ferocious case of the Spemale Bottom Stank. Ooh, it's time for the eight hour cartoon block of Videlectric Saturday Mornidio games. This is the one where some real world kids get sucked into a video game. Ridiculous. That place looks way cooler on the poster. I bet that place with all the flying video games looks way cooler in person. Strong said still washing all the dangerous three costumes, so we'll be ready for all the award ceremonies. Ah! Ah! Make it stop! Make it stop! Make it stop! Yeah! Just join my party already! Man, I hate that guy. It's even more broken than before. At least it's less punchy now. It's locked! Strong said keeps promising to fix this thing. Maybe he knows how to open it. It's already unlocked. Hey! How am I supposed to get in the game? Yeah! Get in the game. All right. Let's do this! What the crap was that? Oh, man! Where's the light musket? I gotta find that thing. I just need to remember where I put the key to open the Trogdor machine, then grab a logic board somewhere and pop it in. How hard can that be? Wait, you've had my key that opens the Trogdor cabinet this whole time? Character not found. I guess the Trogdor game would be pretty lame without the Trogdor. Space circus catastrophe? No way am I going in there. Those evil space clowns are bad news, man. I love those performing bears, though. No, down, boy, down. Oh, he's already gotten attached. Now I gotta keep him. The Videlectric's half athlon. Featuring the finest top-tier Soviet athletes that Videlectrix could afford to license. Sounds half-assed, all right. Looks like my score was so high it broke the game. Jell Arshi's Pro Fruit Porter? That's the game the cheat was wanting to play in my bedroom. I wonder if it's any less lame when you see it on the inside. I bet the fun machine in my bedroom is the only place in the world anyone is still playing Jell Arshi's Pro Fruit Porter. Now I want to be the guy too! Stinko Man 20 xd 6 Yes, I believe I am asking for a challenge. Region locked. Oh man, what kind of crappy alternate reality can't play imported video games? Still region locked. A world of spiky blue-haired wonder remains tantalizingly out of my grasp. Strong Bad's cool game for attractive people? I hope that's one of those games with, like, guns and swords and setting things on fire. And not one of those boring, use pie on cat type jobs. I hope I get into one of the good episodes this time. Load P-Quest, comma, eight, comma, one. Presence Quest? You mean I get to go inside the best-selling video computer TV game of all time? Ready? I've only been waiting for this for, like, my entire life. What? What kind of question is that? Who are you, anyway? I'm up. Nobody saw that. It's cool. Whoa, what is this place? It's like every cool video game ever made, all in one place. Am I? In heaven? No, clearly not heaven. That's right, Homestar. You were there when I said it out loud twice. It's one of those colonial ghosts from Spirits of 76. Can't tell which one, though. All those Spirits of 76 ghosts look the same until you meet them in person. That's the ghost of Paul Revere. It's Ben Franklin's ghost from Spirits of 76. That's the ghost of John Hancock. That's the spooky ghost of Samuel Adams from Spirits of 76. Look like Kid Speedy. Wow, that dungeon man looks a lot beefier here than he does in text. I think I recognize this character. Tragdar, maybe? That's the Jonka from Peasant's Quest. He's only in the game for like five minutes. How'd he get on the wheel? It's a box with a line in it. Maybe a lantern? It looks like one of those old-timey keys nobody uses anymore. One of them old feather pens. I don't remember any of Electric's game with... Tea bags. That, of course, is an all-natural 100% beef frank. Yawn trinket. Text. For when drying six pixels takes too much time. A thatched roof cottage in its rare, unburninated state. A big pile of pixelated riches. Hey, no fair! This so-called code wheel is broken. 
Nobody can read that. Oh, man, where am I going to find something red and see-through? Homestar, if you're about to show me a skimpy negligee, stop right now. I can't read it without those red see-through glasses they used to ship with the game. None. Paul Revere was lactose intolerant. Almond fudge ripple. Chocolate and wet beaver pelt. Pralines and burninated peasant. Tempura prawn crunch. Hops and icy cold one flavored. Rocky Road. Banana mint pickle. That's enough, freak show. Manual? This game's like a billion years old. I don't have the manual. I've got the answer to that riddle. Uh... Vanilla? What am I supposed to do with that giant wheel thing? How am I supposed to get some Invisa glasses? They haven't made those since Thy Dungeon Man Zero. No text edition. Ahoy, good graphic kateers! Oh boy, it's the Vid Electric's newsletter! Take a whiff of all the pixel-packed fun coming your way from Vid Electric's. Celebrate the Fright Centennial with Spirits of 76 and its revolutionary new light musket attachment. The ladder-building action of Mr. Fixit will have you riveted to your fun machine. Maybe include the missus with Lady Crate Ape from Vid Electrics for her. Experience the mild sports-type gameplay of the Vid Electrics half athlon. And please, for the love of Pete, don't forget old favorites like Peasant's Quest and Stinko Man. Not available in some territories. And kids, keep your eyes peeled for our collectible trading cards. Probably buried or hidden near you. Another great newsletter. Sounds like Vid Electric's upgraded their computer. Singular. The last email I got from them was handwritten on a napkin and shoved under my door. What gives in Peasant's Quest? It says that nobody can be Trogdor, but I thought Stormbad could beat anybody, so my question is who would win in a fight you are Trogdor? Manny. Manny? Manny who? Manny emails are better written than this one? Many people have asked me to use the shift key, but I refuse to listen. Of course I would win. I birthed Trogdor. It's like how your dad always shellacks you at tennis even when he's 70 years old. He knows all your moves. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but that beefy arm has no backhand. And his net game is practically non-existent. I could easily take him in straight sets. Oh, wait. You asked about a fight with a dragon. That breathes fire. Hmm. Maybe I should come up with some kind of non-tennis-related plan to defeat that guy. Strongman! What? Don't sneak up on me like that! Which cheat commando are you most like and why? Curious, Dugum Vermont. Is this one of those lame internet personality quizzes that people are always forwarding me? Like, which character from The Color Purple are you? That thing said I was a silly when everybody knows I'm a squeak. Anyways, my favorite cheat commando would have to be Gunhaver. Because out of all the action figures I've melted with a soldering iron, he turned into the coolest abomination. Now I call him Twig, Rusty Nails, Some Dead Bugs, and Right Leg of Other Action Figure Haver. But my second choice would be any of the ruthless Toppelgangers. This sometimes good guys, most time bad guys, guns for hire. I don't even have their action figures, but I have a feeling they'd be real melty. Dear Strongbat, I think you have the best taste in video games and are never wrong. You're my new best friend. But my brother just got this new game where you can't die at all. You just get stuck. I think this is boring, but what do you think about games where you can't die? John Platts. Ack! A video game where you can't die? No, that doesn't sound boring at all. It sounds... <laughs> what? Oh, sorry. I nodded off there. But seriously, what are you supposed to do in a game where you can't die? Pick up things? Talk to people? Talk to people about things you just picked up? Let me be first in line not to play that game. Sometimes I try to die in games that don't even let you die. Like solitaire. I swear, if I keep playing two cards of the same suit on top of each other, that one-eyed jack will jump out and stab the crap out of me. Stage one, complete. Stage two, emails. A lone space marine against an unstoppable army of zombie elves on the beaches of Normandy. His only weapon? Email. Strong Bad was a single guy who'd given up on love. But then he met... Emails. 
female boss fight! It's made out of plywood and duct tape. I knew this game was cheap, but where's the craftsmanship, people? No, Homestar, you're only supposed to say that when you're way high up. Oh, wait. I really can see my house from here. We must be inside my own fun machine. It's kind of a creep take knowing Jell Arshi can look out into my bedroom. Weird. I don't remember the Jell Arshi game looking like this. Look, having to talk to you is no bowl of cherries for me either. Anyways, as I was saying, I thought I was jumping into the game. How come you're just standing around here? Not, not loafing. Red flavored fluffy puff translucent dessert related substance. I'd like to push stupid units. So, freak show. No, I'm looking for anybody to help me get farther in the video game so I can kill a dragon. Oh, that's when you play a video game for so long and get a score so high and have a life so depressing that you break the video game. Go away, Homestar. You only get one question per day. So, Creepzilla. This game sucks and you know it. So, Professor Pineapple, got any ideas on how I can take out Trump? What? Oh, what a ripoff. He's not even real. He's just a prop. It's Jell Arshi's totally fake nemesis, Professor Pineapple. Difficulty slider? No wonder this game is so boring. Now it's set to high. I better knock it back down to low. It's a giant bin full of fresh pineapple slices. It's the professor's semi robotomatic pineapple gun. I have yet to meet the random lever that I could not push for no reason. This must be where all the apples, cherries, and strawberries in the game come from. Check this place out! I'm in a video game! Oh man, does that mean I can bash stuff with my head to find coins? Ow! Guess not. No, I didn't. I mean, you're still in that window, right? Hey, are you eating? I'm gonna ignore that. Now, who in here's gonna tell me how to kill Trogdor? Hey, it's rather dashing. Star of Peasant's Quest. Looking blocky and pixely as ever, Raz. Say, I always wanted to ask. What's up with the short pants? Fair enough. Hey, I need your help. Hey, Pixel Man. I need you to help me find some kind of special sword and kill Trogdor so I can keep Homestar from popping up on my face all the time. So, Trogdor has weak spots, eh? Where can a peasant brother lay his hands on a Trog sword? I got Trogdors to smite. Wait, no. Stinko Man? My favorite Japanese cartoon video game version of me? I love that guy. Before, when you were talking, I wasn't paying any attention. What did you say happened to the Trog sword? Platforms, eh? Looks like I'm gonna have to... Find a way into the Stinko Man game and get the Trog Sword before he does! Hey, why don't you come with me to kill Trogdor? I could use someone as kindling, I mean, a distraction, while I slay the beast. Yeah? How's that going for you? Come on, help me kill Trogdor. It'll be fun. Princesses? Look around, man. Nothing but pixely peasants in this place. Hey, I think I found a princess for you. She's right out in front of the path to Trogdor's lair. Come on! Obviously, she needs saving from the all-ye-can-eat buffet! Touché! Come on, rather chicken! She's a princess, you've gotta save her! It's in the contract! Guess what? Your moment of destiny has arrived! The Munchox is attacking the princess! Positive, man! Now get your short pants over there and rescue her! Voip! Zoop! Use slash get slash enter slash screw with Portal. Uh-oh, the scorpion bait. Oh, crap. Good thing I always ignore the text in these games. Otherwise, that box might discourage me. Aha! I got the... Um, whatever this is supposed to be. What the CGA are these things? I'm gonna guess... Pebbles. Or chicken feed. Ball bearings? Ah, I can't get ye flask. Ah. I still can't get ye flask. Okay, try everything a couple times. It just might work. <coughs> Except, no, forget it. That thing is ye dead to me. Hey, I'm trying to find... Excuse me, I... Hey, you! Trogdor Slayer looking for help. I'll give you a dollar if you stop for a second. Nothing? You're lost, man. Forget it, man. Those guys are stuck up. They think they're so cool with their burninating heads. Hi, decrepit old person. This place is awesome. 
If I ever open up a bed, breakfast, and biker bar, it'll look just like this one. How's business? Say, you seen a dragon around here? Big, beefy arm. Scales and teeth that look like consummate Vs. That's cool. I'll find him and hack him to bits somewhere else then. You don't hear too much about evil princesses, do you? It's all evil queens, wicked stepmothers, and hot witches, mostly. Where'd you say I need to be to kill Trogdor? These games always have some kind of weapon you need to kill the dragon. You seen anything like that, old man? So where's that Trog sword now? What's with that ye flask over there? Well, yeah, I do now. Okay, fine. I'm just saying. Don't leave ye flask just lying around in plain view if you don't want people trying to pick them up. Not cool. Hey, I got a job for you. Uh, it's pretty far away from here. You better just come with me. Clearly. I wasn't gonna stay anyway. I just wanted to see if it was a decent place to trash and bring groupies on the next DOI tour. Uh, uh I think they mixed up your order at the Costume Palace, Prom Queen. They must have made a mistake. As always. So, who exactly do you think you are? Yes, of course. Evil <laughs> wizard. Uh, hate to break it to you, slosh fiend, but you're clearly a princess. Oh, your evil wizard hat? You mean the one that is pink and sparkly? Okay, wizard, let's see some magic. That's what I thought. I'll just be scooching on past you now. Whoa, it's warm. Feels like I've been hit with, like, a microwave breakfast sausage or something. Do the magic thing again. Ah, toasty and nutritious. So, evil wizard smush friend, come to terms with your feminine side yet? That's not what the town folk say. Like everybody, man. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Princess, princess, I got this. Step aside, little, uh, sister. Strongbad's got a Trogdor to smite. What? Seriously, let me into Trogdor's lair. I really gotta get in there. Okay, princess quest giver, hit me with your best quest. And what do I get in return? Okay, princess salad fork. Of course, it looks just like the thing you showed me. Are you serious? This better be worth it, lady dumps a lot. Here, now let's say you give me a real reward this time. You don't actually have a reward, do you? Really? Wow, I'm so lucky to have the opportunity to get useless crap for you over and over. Yeah, here's your thing. Here, take this. I don't want it. How about the quest to see below your waistline? Okay, here's that quest thing you sent me out for. Of course, it looks just like the thing you showed me. Oh, man, this is gonna be good. Ah, maybe. Who remembers anymore? I'm not going over there. It's a lot more fun to watch from right here. Finally. Jeez, killing Trogdor's turning out to be more work than I expected. Not now, Homestar. I'm working my way to Trogdor's lair so I can kill him and finally get you out of my head. No, I'm gonna use the Trog Sword. Oh, I still need to get the Trog Sword. My what? You mean the Trog Sword? No, I won't. No, hey, get off! Quit that! Okay, fine, you guys can come with me. But don't touch any of my stuff. Hey, what was that stupid thing you wanted me to get? Oh, yeah, that thing. Where'd he go? Here, Trogdor. Come here, boy. I just got a cool sword I wanted to show you. Crap, he got away. If those screaming peasants were right, his lair's underneath the castle. I'll have to make my way through these seemingly endless hallways to get down to the dungeon and take him out on his home turf. Homestar, what are you doing? I already did that just fine without your help. Hey, cut it out! What did you do to my camera? All right, let's do this mono e beefy armo. Flash bulbs. Perfect ammo for my light musket. What the? What am I doing down here? I'm supposed to be up there where all the runny, jumpy, shooty action is. Hey, how do I get up there? I need that sword. Come on, man. That's so not cool. I really need that sword. I don't care how luxurious your blue hair is. I'm coming up there and getting that sword. I've got to get closer. I'm too far away. Ah, ah, stupid dragon. So, at last we... Hey, no fair. You're supposed to wait for my speech to end before you go starting any boss fights. One of Trogdor's minions. A fiendishly difficult polynomial equation. Oh, so you're gonna play dirty, Trogdor? Sending one of your space circus catastrophe clowns at me? 
Well, Thor can play at that game. It's Nebulon, Limousine's second greatest nemesis next to Alternative Rock. Take that. One shot, one kill. I can't be stopped. Ah, oh, missed. Stupid first person messing with my perspective. How can I miss? A secret passage. This'll get me to Trogdor twice as fast. Since this castle's like... A jillion miles long, apparently. Another secret passage. Nothing. Only one weapon is mighty enough to smite the mighty Trogdor. Mightily. Ah, uh, yeah. No way am I gonna beat Trogdor without a weapon. Meet Hammer Fist. Get a mouth full of Thunderbolt. Eat lead or tungsten or whatever they put in these things. Performing Bear, I choose you. Sick em. Be free, Performing Bear. <laughs> raised him from a cub. I'm not gonna cry. Quake in fear at the power of metal. Man, how big is this castle? They really should break this place up with a potted plant or something. Whoa, I almost stepped in... Snake boxer? Oh, I get it. I almost didn't see you there. What with you being two-dimensional and all, it's a mile-high pile of video game crates. Where were you guys when I needed a power-up in Hallway Warriors 3, huh? I'm getting dizzy just looking at that mountain of power-ups, ammo, medkits, extra lives, shields, coins, bananas, <laughs> Made me a little nauseous. Much like the wounded mini-boss with one energy bar left, this stray crate is easy prey for the wily strong bad. Hey, man! That thing shut up tight. If this was a video game, I'd just punch my way into that crate. I'd bet most of Strong Sad's savings that this crate has something interesting in it. Well, that's not opening. You know, your blocky fists of fury could come in pretty handy. Wanna join my party to save reality? Snakebox is good, but I don't think even he could smash all those crates. All right, Snakeboxer, do your stuff. Why won't he hit that? Oh, yeah. Ring the bell, ref! Oh, come on! It kinda looks like a snake. Sorta. In the slimy green corner, weighing in at, uh, 800 pounds, is a crate covered in snakes! And in the blue corner, weighing in at 128 pixels, is the Flatland Flattener, the Asp Assassin, the Python Pounder, the one and only Snake Boxer! That was quick. Those snakes must have taken a dive. All right, snakes on crates. It's time for a rematch. Wow, this really must be one of those infinitely replenishing video game boxes. Cool, an all-purpose med kit. With this, I can cure the sick and heal the lame. Maybe even the ultra-lame like Strong Sad. I hope these crates don't run out anytime soon. All right, the light musket peripheral from Spirits of 76. Complete with photonic ramrod and frequency frizzin. With this baby, I'll be able to blast wavelengths of liberty at all sorts of stuff. Okay, guys, I realize I'm asking a lot from a bunch of pixelated snakes with, at most, a dozen or so lines of code between them. But could you just sit here on this crate and, uh, slither for a while? Cool. Thanks. Snakes on a crate. Yo, Poopsmith. What? Wow, that's old school. Well, fix it. How would you like to join me in my epic quest to, uh, rebuild reality? It's one heck of a fixer-upper. What is that? Buckshot? Chicken feed? A bunch of ellipses? Is that it? Do you need ellipses? Come on, poop, Mr. Fix-It. Join my party. It'll be fun. That'll be hammers. Fine. I'll find you some... Whatever that picture is. I've been in enough of these quote-unquote adventure games to guess that this thing's supposed to hold rivets. Intriguing. Or dare I say, riveting. Hey, uh, mister, I think I found some rivets. At least I think they're rivets. I guess they could be grapes. Or nickels. Cool, so you'll join my party? That's what I'm talking about. This key only works on the door to my trog door machine. And maybe any other trog door doors. If I plug this thing into anything other than the factory-approved slot in my Trogdor machine, I'll void the warranty. I don't want to get Homestar's digestive juices all over that. That doesn't need healing, even if I wanted to shine a light on that. I'm pretty sure this crummy 2D pixel lantern would be absolutely useless. I don't think this key's gonna open anything. 
Except maybe a 200-year-old door. That doesn't need my signature. I don't think that's how you make tea. Whatever the heck those are, they don't seem to work with that. I don't think this ridiculous quest item is going to be of any use to anyone but Strong Sad. I don't think they'll want that. I better not use my snakes here. They could slither away. The Trog Sword won't work on anything but the Trog Door. Duh. I better keep this trophy for someone who needs it. The Algebros are only good at math. I'm not really that good at math either. I better not. Trogdor can smell a peasant at like 20 furlongs away. I don't think Mr. Fixit can fix it. Up and at him, short pants. He won't go for it. Snake Boxer may only do one thing, but he's the best at it. Yo, limousine, I got something to beam up here. A red square, or blue square. Man, those scorpions are nasty. I almost got killed out there. Get out of town. Sweet, I'm immortal. But what about all my cool stuff? Crap. Aw, oh, did I die again? Okay, I don't care if I do have infinite lives. This is starting to get annoying. Am I dead? Whoa, I could swear I was just stung to death by low red scorpions. Cool. And hey, I've still got the scorpion food. Uh, maybe I should just get out of here. Now let's see if I can really heal the lame. Hey there, Gigantor. I always suspected there was a Soviet shot putter trapped inside Strong Mad's body. So, big guy, wanna join my party to save the world from Trogdor? Dang. Aw, oh, come on, what do you need a trophy for? All right, jeez. Don't get your sports bra in a bundle. Hey, Coach Z. Man, that looked like it hurt. I gotta do that again. As I was saying, hmm, that looked painful. <laughs> I could do this all day. Oh, ah, get him off, no. Ah, uh, the obligatory ice level. Less friction. More penguins. Coach Z really went hardcore on the track. Can't wait to see Homestar swimming laps in that pool of lava. Ah, the obligatory lava level. And he sticks the landing! USA! USA! Well, the oop. Hey, what's this do? Checkpoint? Sure wish I had one of those last week when the cheat dared me to drink all that drain cleaner. Keep on checking my points, Checkpoint. Okay, now can you maybe remember what I'm holding? You wanna die right, you gotta do everything yourself. Scorpion food. Hmm. Man, those scorpions are really homed in on this stuff. Good thing there's an ice level between us. Picking up the scorpion food again. Hope I don't get stung. I hope this scorpion food appreciates all the stinging and walking into the light I'm going through. Friggin' friggin' scorpion food. Man, those scorpions look angry. If they only had more pixels, you could see the venom dripping from their tiny pinchers. I don't like the looks of those scorpions, man. It's like they can tell I've got scorpion food in my pants. I love 8-bit trophies. Diddle diddle dee. Even better. Ding da ding. Bonk. That was easier than I thought. I wonder why Strong Man didn't just come over and take it himself. All right, comrade Shotsky. On behalf of the Videlectrics Gaming Association, I present you with this trophy for superior half-athery in the Videlectrics half-athlon. Yeah, yeah, ich bin ein Donuts. You join in my party or what? Okay, comrade, let's see what you can do. Hey, it's round, isn't it? Now get puttin'. Time for another mighty heave, mighty heaver. Stupid flimsy balls of scorpion food. You popped up on my interface just to say, yup. An autograph? It's just strong, mad. You're all mental. What did you do to the track, coach? Uh, do you need another med kit, coach? Or maybe something to come down off the last one? How does this half athlon work, anyway? You win what? Why were you carrying a big ball of scorpion food? What's with the big guy over there? He doesn't seem quite right in the head. More than usual. Yeah, maybe it's not Strong Mad who's not right in the head. I don't know. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? Just pick up all the crap that's lying around hoping it'll be useful for some stupid thing later? That's not what I heard. You must have been doing it wrong. I got that quest item that I don't actually remember what it's called. Now let's talk reward. Ouch. Poor guy would have done better against Trogdor. The king of town? How'd he end up in peasantry? Ah! It's too terrible! Not him! You, trying to pronounce devourer. I never in a million years thought I'd say this, but... That's a pretty cool tale you got there, king of town. Shut up! I'm not dead! Well, what about that guy shooting at you? He looks like he could really mess you up, man. I really think those guys could take you. You better let me take over. Hey, Stinko Man! Cool, cool robot boots. 
Okay, man, shut up. Why did I call you Stinko Man? Seems a little harsh. Um, they don't. No one calls me that. Stinko Man it is. Hey, Pinchy, forget that. I got something important to say. You see that sword over there? Why don't you just clamp onto it and bring it over here for me? Well, you're certainly doing a bang-up job of not helping. Check out that Pinchy guy. That guy looks awesome. I'd hate to get caught in his grip. So, I was just talking to that Stinko Man guy, and he told me he thinks you guys are wussies. Man, man, Stinko Man is still talking trash about you. He said you were too slow. He says you're too predictable. He said you weren't powerful enough. Well? Hey, up there! Me, down here! Hey, I gotta tell you something! Yo, brown tent! So, hey, brah, some sweet energy ball shooting you got going on there. So, listen, let's be buds. I just need you to get me that totally gnarly sword over there and... Oh, I would... But... You're a robot. Okay, let me put it to you this way. I need you to kill Stinko Man so I can get that sword. Did you know that Stinko Man makes fun of you behind your back? His words, not mine. Yeah, I can't see any difference. Really? Finally, I've reached another room that looks just like all the other rooms. Could have at least added a torch or something. Trogdor, the fruit of my skills of an artist. And now it comes down to this. The epic battle, the final confrontation, the last cutscene. Yes! Well, that was a little anticlimactic. What are you... Whoa! I don't believe it! They finally listened to me! And mip-mapped! Check out all these polygons! And this blade! I... I'm the best graphics ever made! I'm kind of having a moment, Homestar. Don't interrupt. Oh, it's broken. Ugh, because I prefer to use the ladder. No, I mean, I could probably just do a quadruple fudge backflip and land on my feet, but I don't want to. Someone put that ladder there for a reason and I'm gonna use it. Then I'll fix it. Now go away! Still broken. This one's broken too. Who leaves a bunch of broken ladders lying around anyway? Stupid broken ladder. This place is a dump. How am I supposed to get across to get the trog sword when everything around here is broken? You don't have a hammer, Homestar. Pastrami. Okay, mister. Fix it. One more time. Here you go, mister. Fix it. Work your magic. Nice work. Hey, how much would you charge to build a 200-foot wall around the marzipan's house? Three dollars? That's great. Oh. Never mind. Aha! More importantly, I'll be able to keep you from popping up and interrupting all my future scheduled makeout sessions. Yeah, that's code for makeout session. Just get out of here and quit touching my stuff. The fabled drug sword is mine! What are you doing here? Ah, uh, you can say it. I know you want to. Are you gonna just hang there implausibly or help me out? Oh, man, now what? This video game reality is caving in all around us and fast. We better find the fast way out of here. And fast. Finally. We better get out of here. Me first. This game cheats. Trogdor really is indestructible. Homestar, you've been here for hours. Seen any secret levers or anything? Fantastic. When somebody offers you an ancient dragon-killing relic, you take it. Now where am I gonna find a bloodstone? I totally killed Trogdor! Did you see that? You've burninated your last peasant, Trogdork! Man, so high res! How can I possibly kill a creature with so much majesty and so many... repeated textures? Those pedestals are for offerings to the mighty Trogdor! Trogdor is impervious to the needlessly creepy. After you've tasted my blade as the main course, for dessert, how about a little red-flavored fluffy puff translucent dessert-related substance? Aha! But I'll never be able to reach the rest of the weak spots unless I get Trogdor to turn around. Take that! Eat it, Troggy! Uh, uh-oh. I'm screwed. Useless! The Trog Sword only works against Trogdor's weak spots. That glowing red spot must be one of Trogdor's weak points. That's the only way out, but it's locked. Trogdor, look! Defenseless peasant! Oh, great idea. 
Use a flashlight against an indestructible dragon. Shooting him doesn't do any good. Trogdor's almost dead. I'm not gonna waste a perfectly good peasant right when I'm about to win the game. Run! Save yourself! <laughs> Eat photons, limey ghosts! By the power of EGA! Extended memory management! Raster interrupt six! Hold and modify! And the mighty mode eight! The power of the trunk sword is mine! Ah, that's more like it. Hooray for socialized medicine. No more flashbulbs. Looks like I'm gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Ow, that stung! Good thing I turned on the god mode cheat before I came in here. Marzi Kong was tossing these things around like she's got an infinite supply of them. Have at it, guys. There's probably an ancient relic in there or something. And I know you snakes love that kind of stuff. Round one. Fight! My very own EGA question hat! I'll be able to do all kinds of stuff in this. Look stone. Get brooch. Talk barkeep. The possibilities are endless. The trog sword is here, but I'll never be able to reach it stuck down here in the UI. Well, the ladder's fixed. But I still can't get out of the spare man's list. That shockwave must have hit the video games harder than I thought. Everything's broken. That ladder would take me right up to the trog sword. If I could just get up there. Such disrespect. I'm the star of this game. I shouldn't have to wait for my turn to play. It's still only in level 1-1. One, one. Man, if I were in charge, I'd be all the way to level 10.5 fighting the secret hidden boss. Stickly man. Stinko Man still at full energy. Strong Sad must know where the Trogdor machine went. Or at least I can hear him cry about getting beaten up by it. That should be good for a laugh. The only way I'm gonna get to play my Trogdor game again is to use this case key to open up the cabinet. I gotta get back to my room. I'm expecting that photo crew from Filthy Living magazine to show up any second. I better call my agent and see how Dangerous 3 is doing at the box office. Now, where did I put Homestar's cell phone when I stole it? There's gotta be something that can help me dig up Homestar's lucky quarter. I should call Videlectric's headquarters and see if they've got any low-res ideas. Man, those Videlectric's guys have a pretty advanced voicemail system. I wonder if I could break it. The Videlectric's guys said they'd drop off my package near Bub's concession stand. Homestar's so stupid, he's probably standing on his lucky quarter and doesn't realize it. If I can't get Homestar to play the Trogdor game, maybe I can at least get him near it. Maybe the Trogdor machine dropped the quarter I can give Homestar. I should check around there. I keep telling Homestar to stay near the Trogdor machine, but he won't listen to me. Wonder what he would listen to. This quarter's got Homestar's spit and digestive juices all over it. Lucky me. I should get rid of it. As much fun as it is watching Homestar get pounded by my Trogdor machine, I better install this logic board and fix it. I've gotta get back to Strongbadia. I'm still deciding. I don't have the manual, Homestar. Shut up. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey, shut up. That's my spemail. No, I'm not. He didn't want grapes. He needed rivets. You've been quiet for too long, Homestar. And it's given me the creeps. The Videlectrics guys are probably busy making the coolest new games. I better not bother them. That's right, stupid ghost. Shoo! Go off and show up as unexplained blurs and mysterious photographs or something. I'm not playing any games while the house is still haunted. I don't want anybody sneaking up behind me. No way am I going near the lappy while the house is haunted. I could get sucked into the screen or something. Wow, I never noticed that box until that friendly ghost pointed it out to me. Stinko Man's whole lot cooler robot boots. Now I can totally fly around in space in cool action poses. Ah, I was wondering where the box for my Lady Crate Ape game had gone to. I mean, Strong Sad's Lady Crate Ape game. That sucks and he sucks too because of it. Wonder what's in the box that ghost was pointing out. No way! It's a limited edition unreleased Cheat Commandos action figure. I don't believe it. This one is Swamp Slash, leader of the shady mercenary commando biker gang and book club, the Toppelgangers. Another unreleased Cheat Commandos figure. This one is Dry Ghost, the Toppelganger's bad seed second in command. And he's still in the package. I'm gonna be so rich. All right, it's Subtle Fuge. 
easily the manliest and most mysterious of the toppelgangers. And Krakotaj is evil twin. Is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? With that kind of chest hair, does it even matter? This cannot be happening. It's a brand new figure for Fudge Clank. The Toppelganger's wild card. They only made like a dozen of these before they had to do a recall for what they referred to as irresponsible causation of nightmares and subsequent wet beds. I heard that if you combine the packages for all four Toppelgangers, it makes the deluxe submarine junkyard playset. I gotta get back to my room and see if it works. Hey, it's one of my Vidalectric's good graphic Kateers cards. Carpal Tunnel Connie. Wow. That is not funny. People must have had a different sense of humor way back in... Printed in 2006. Oh, a good graphic Kateers card. This one is for the 360 flapjack to junk in the trunk trick for pro fruit border. Must be a bad connection. This is Strong Bad again. Strong Bad. Vid Electrics is giving away unlicensed me shirts. I gotta talk to my made up lawyer about this. Would have been cooler if I was wearing a shirt with me on it. And then that one was wearing a shirt with me on it. And then that one was wearing a shirt with me on it. <laughs> Yes! This has got to get me into the Trogdor game! A Trogdor t-shirt consolation prize! Alright, I give up. Cool shirt, though. That's weird. It's perfectly normal to see cardboard boxes filled with weird things scattered around all over the field back home. But in peasantry? A pair of pixelated elf boots. I hope I don't have to press right arrow to start walking, and then press right arrow again to stop walking when I wear these things. Keep building till you hit the Cloud Kingdom. They keep all the cool stuff hidden away above the high score. Hey, watch it, Mac. I should put up some of them warning cones. Okay, back into my inventory, Mr. Fix-It. It's Stinko Man's spiky Japanese cartoon hair. So blue and luxurious, without using any product. Hey, pretty cool. Now get back in my inventory. Relax, creep show. I don't like it any more than you do. That's just needlessly creepy. Back into my inventory. It's the box for Jell Arshi's Pro Fruit Border. The free game I got for sending in a bunch of proofs of purchase. Free is right. Free of fun. It's Stinkle Man's shiny round hands. Hmm, I wonder if they can shoot energy balls or energy bolts. Or energy blasts? Hmm, I wonder if Mr. Fixit could fix it the car to actually run and go places. The box for Mr. Fixit was stuck in the carburetor? That's the last time I trust Strong Mad's auto repair skills. Oh well, nice try, Mr. Fixit. Back into my inventory. What the? What's that ghost doing in my picture? And that box wasn't there before. Man, this is seriously giving me the j j j jibbles. Another ghost in the frame? I wonder what's in that box the ghost wanted me to find. It's the box for Spirits of 76. A dire message from beyond the grave? Or an attempt at cross-video game marketing synergy? Expert opinion is divided. It's the box for the Vidalectric's half Athlon. Voted best sports-related game by Vidalectric's Power Magazine for three years running. Come, my snakes. Back into the safety of my pants. I don't need a cheap rip-off respawned light musket. I've already got the much cooler original. Weird. Even for you. Back into my inventory. No mail? There's always cool stuff in or around my mailbox. I blame Trogdor for this. I totally didn't see that cardboard box before. How did you do that? Hey, King of Munchocks, or whatever. What is this thing anyway? And why are you a hoarding it? It's a good graphic Kateer collector's card. Anti-social Angus. I guess that's funny. Almost. Maybe. No, not at all. It's a good graphic Kateer's trading card. This one's for the reverse stainless steel French press trick in Jell Arshi's Pro Fruit Border. Oh boy! Now that I've got all four of the good graphic Kateers cards, I can put them together to form... A picture of a stick of gum. Mmm, another mysterious bush. Mysterious because it's not burning. Good job helping me with Trogdor, peasant. Go run off and start a commune, or whatever it is you guys do. Okay, everybody saw that I didn't mean to do that. You'd think I could remember where Bub's concession stand is by now. I better write down where my Trogdor machine ran off to on my map, so I don't forget. Hmm, where should I put the Vidalectric's half athlon on my map? After all this time, I can finally put peasantry on my map. 
But where should it go? Now I gotta find a place for the Peasantry Inn on my map. I better find a place for the Gel Arshi game on here. So I know to avoid it. It's gonna be a challenge. But there's gotta be room for Stinko Man 20 xd 6 somewhere on here. Any good map needs a place for Trogdor's lair. Where should it go? Cut it out, Lord Dumpish. I got the dragon to derez. Hey, quit it! Step aside, coming through, front of the line! I hope you guys don't mind a long wait, because when I get up there, I'm taking it all the way to level 50. So, uh, what do you guys do while you're down here waiting to get in the game? I can't reach it until I find a way to get up into the game. Keep on keeping on, brown tant. And I'm done talking to you. I better stop talking to you while I still think you're somewhat cool. Yo, mushbrain! Check out what your slimy innards horked up. Ouch! It's a good thing Homestar's head is so soft, spongy, and, you know, empty. Hold on, mighty trog shiv. Strong battle be there soon. It's a good thing the portal followed me in here, or I might be stuck in this lame opening level forever. Ever. Ever. I wonder where those boxes come from, anyway. I hope it's not one of those creepy workshops run by elves, gnomes, dwarves, fairies, or midgets. Man, that possessed poopsmith does nice work. I had to cheat distract Strongman while I snuck into his room and stole back my tarantula cardboard cutout. Of course, Strongman is also distracted by dim lights, grass growing, and the rotation of the earth. So I probably could have saved myself the trouble. A ladder that big has to go somewhere cool. What the- The ladder is a lie. Man, I can't wait to climb that giant ladder. Who knows what kind of awesome power-ups are up there. I'm in the middle of something to cheat. You do it this time. Combo. Super combo. Man. This game is making me hungry. This game is like pure, undiluted, 1989 concentrate. No fair! New high score! I totally nailed that one! Cower at the feet of my awesome moves! Do do do. Wipe out. Okay, let me see how this game works. How's the construction going? Nah, I don't trust Homestar inside my house, much less my Trogdor machine. I just need him to stand in front of it. It's my new logic board from Videlectrix. Now I just need to install this baby in the Trogdor machine, and we can end this episode early. I can't send the performing bear out into the wild for no reason. When he's ready to leave, I'll know. Homestar's using his head as a distraction. Now's my chance to fix the machine. No, oh, no. Homestar is the one who has to pay to use my Trogdor machine. All right, Bushes. Any of you start smiling and dancing, I'm gonna have to come out and put a stop to it. You have been warned. What? No, this is genuine scorpion bait. Have some. I'm not sure if that cyberspacey Videlectric's mainframe is really a place, but I'm gonna put it on my map anyway. I better put that big old pile of crates on my map before Super Marzio Pan closes it off again. Hey, that was my favorite push. I wonder what's behind there. All right, it's Trogdor. Bigger and better than ever. Here, peasant, peasant, peasant. Let's get burninating. No signal. You'd think a cell phone this giant would have a better antenna. I better wait until I'm in a wide open space. Ye oldie crate. There aren't supposed to be crates in peasantry. Must be a memory leak or something. Smash crate. What do you want to smash the crate with? A snake boxer. And second thought. I don't want to waste a med kit on Strong Sad. He looks plenty healthy enough. Level 4 spell of snake summoning! Huzzah! Hey, come back here! That must be that scorpion monster's cave. I don't want to know what kind of low-res horrors he keeps locked away in there. I think that inn might get more business if it had a functioning door. Nothing worth seeing in there anyway. As much fun as this is to watch, I better do something about the princess in distress before I go anywhere. That's a good idea, but I don't think the algebras know how to use decimal points. I'll stick with level 1-1 one, one for now. I won't need those extra lives. Nothing left around here that can kill me. Wait here, Junior. I've got a reanimated arcade machine to take care of.